Now, if you find the idea of a beetle for your breakfast or a ladybird for your lunch revolting, you might want to look away now. The UN's food experts say we should be eating a lot more insects because they could help in the fight against global hunger. The world's forests are a source of untapped food, according to the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization. Grasshoppers, ants, crickets, and beetles top the list. But there are 1,900 edible insect species on the planet. There are 40 tons of insects to every human on the planet, and they're efficient. They convert two kilograms of feed into one kilogram of insect meat. Cattle need eight kilograms of feed to produce a kilogram of beef. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization works to tackle the root causes of hunger. It's published a report which claims that the answer to both of these problems lies in insects. Twenty years ago, nobody would have eaten sushi and because it's raw fish, and now everybody likes it. So tastes can change, and we've already seen insects、um, showing up in restaurants in some of the capitals in Europe, and、uh, they are offered there as something like a specialty. So in the longer term, I think、um, insects could also be eaten in Western countries. And why this would be good?、Um, Well, I mean, we know that the population is growing, and there's going to be an increased demand for food and protein in general. And insects offer one option of providing this protein. And in Western cultures, where we have a huge problem of obesity and overweight, insects are a very nutritious element element that could provide a healthy diet. Insects already form part of the traditional diet of at least two billion people, mainly in Africa and Asia. The most consumed bugs are beetles, caterpillars, and ants. Many insects are rich in protein and high in calcium, iron, and zinc. I eat insects like this because they provide nutrition. They nourish the body, and they're not too fatty, but have lots of good ingredients. If you eat these all the time, you will rarely get sick. Healthy though insect consumption is, it may be a while before Western cultures are bitten by the bug. <laughs> Insects have a huge potential for both feed and food. We're already seeing developments in terms of using insects as animal feed, and also being incorporated onto menus and into processed foods. While we won't be seeing insects on the table of a Sunday lunch any time within the next decade, we know that insects have a huge potential, and we hope that slowly but surely this can be realized. Yep, you heard it right. The Food and Agriculture Organization says eating insects may combat global hunger. Insects are, in fact, already part of the diet in certain regions of the world. The FAO says if more of us start munching on critters, it could help maintain food security and help the environment. Something to chew on, perhaps, when you're considering your next meal. <laughs> More than 1,900 insect species already find their way onto people's plates around the world, and not just in the underdeveloped world. Denmark's former world number one restaurant Noma famously serves ants and fermented grasshoppers, and prepared properly, taste is not an issue. One restaurant in San Francisco does a roaring trade in termite tacos and the like, but don't expect Kentucky Fried Centipede anywhere near you soon.